Hello everyone, let me try and zoom in here a little bit. First of all, I'm going to introduce you to a couple of new decks. This one is called A Fairy's Fantasy Tea and it is a refurbished deck from original Fantasy Tea that I had. Uh, I think it was 2016 was the original. So what I've done is it is a 50 card deck. It has two men, two ladies. Hang on, I'll just try and get those there. Um, I'll show you the pictures because faces are important. So the two ladies and two men, that is for our polyamory or same-sex relationship. So you can remove the other gender and you have two gentlemen look at each other or you would have two ladies look at each other and so on. You'll also notice on these, you can probably see anything, these are actually on a really high gloss cardstock now. Um, it's a lovely, quite sturdy stock. So for those who have my steampunk deck, this is the same cardstock it has um, another little trick on here is it actually has these little tiny teapots and many of the cards have this little tiny teapot in the corner and the reason for that is the directions because we read tea cards directionally now here you'll notice there is no teapot so that is a forward facing card so we then have a look at other cards when they're around it, but I'm not going to go into lessons here at the moment. This is a weekly, but this is why their little teapots are important. Every card has some sort of sprinkle fairy dust and a little fairy of some sort. We've got one under the tree. We've got a little elf here and another one here, teapot there and so on. So that is a fairy's fantasy. Tea. Now this is the booklet and the booklet that comes with them is a big 65 page booklet, 65, 65 or 67. And what I've done is we've gone to very extensive meaning so not I've gone positive negative general how I see them um, relationship career and financials and they are the most questions that you will get asked as a reader there is also a bit in the front about me and who I am the index then we've also got general card spreads how to do a box of nine what are the significator cards and so on um, this is lovely that's in color that is the back of the booklet so that is a fairy's fantasy tea. and the other one is royalty so now my royalty deck same thing beautiful booklet full pages 65 has the exact same stuff again what i've done with the royal tea that's the back i've refurbished this again uh, i think it was 2016-17 when i did that and i have also again put two couples two men two ladies for the same reason the changes I have done to this deck is I actually added another five extra cards that weren't in this deck. And see these? It's all got these little gold arrows. And again, nice and discreet, but it tells us the directions and a front-facing card. So they're the two latest decks. Again, these are in that beautiful high gloss. I'm hoping you can see that in the light. So that's the two new decks that I have introduced. Now, let's get on with the weekly, and I'm going to use my Fairy's Fantasy Tea. Now, I'll just take the people out. So, what do I turn? Ooh, treasure chest. Nice card to fall out because it means great abundance is coming to you. So let's have a look what the week holds for you these by the way are a bridge size card deck which in inches is three and a half by two and a quarter inches don't ask me what that is in centimeters because my brain can't think about that right now but they lovely shuffle well we had this topic or a discussion the other day with a um, lovely young fellow called polo who is lives in uh, new jersey about shuffling 
And if you are one of these people who takes your cards, splits and shuffles, I'm going to smack you senseless. That is the harshest thing you can do with any of your card decks is riffle shuffling. So if you complain about your cards falling apart, doesn't matter they're about mine or anyone else's oracle decks, have a look at your shuffle technique. So I'm just going to lay out five cards. And let's just have a very quick snapshot of what is coming for the week for you. We have peacock, eagle, butterfly, tree and lion. So peacock here would tell me it is a week about putting your spell putting your best foot forward. A peacock there often means fan those tail feathers and be seen. Stand tall in your power and your pride in what you do. It is very visual, so it tells me at the start of the week it's time to be visual. You've got the eagle here with the, um, and he's got the ball of fire. And the reason I've put the glowing ball of fire is eagle is powerful and its meaning is seize the opportunity the moment it arises and it's quite interesting when we are here looking at the little teapots that are pointing to each other it tells me the more you show yourself the more opportunity you will have to seize what you are looking for you have here your beautiful butterfly Beautiful transformations. I'm not surprised after these two. The tree here is a front facing card, which tells me beautiful stability, a growth, and it does mean family in tea reading. I know tree means many things to other people, but in tea, tree means growth, prosperity, but family first. You've got your butterfly and your teapot is pointing to that. So again, transformation, have beautiful energy around family and people you treat as kinfolk. You then have your lion. Lion is your strength, your stamina, your courage, and your teapot there is looking at it. So uh, these two, looking at the tree, would indicate to me, smile sweetly, through your teeth, and I know that sounds ridiculous, um, when it comes to family, because I look at this here is you've got the power and the stamina. Yes, you probably want to take someone's head off, but here would tell me no, be uplifting, take the high road, don't take the aggressive road. So I do hope you have a lovely week, courtesy of Fantas Tea. I'll put the links below and you can see where you want to buy them. And I'll just show you another little thing that is here. Look at these. This here is the matching fortune teller teacup with all these little symbols and fairies and bits and bobs that are actually in the cards. So plus it is a fortune teller teacup. So you can have your cards and your matching teacup. And these are all the images that are on the cards. So isn't that just beautiful? And see, like I said, you've got all your mushrooms, your fairies and your whatnots that actually match the cards. Have a good day.